everyone, this is Mr. Panico, and I'm going to make a very short express tutorial on Photo Stories 3. This is for those of you who are self confident with computers and you learn software easily. It's just a little overview uh, for you. If uh, you were to need a longer, more in depth tutorial, please look elsewhere on this webpage or, or um, search that at, uh, uh, at YouTube or TeacherTube uh, to find the more in depth tutorials. Um, Photo Stories 3 is a slideshow presentation that you arrange and uh, make voice recordings over the pictures and then turn it into a video streaming file that can go up on the web. And uh, to download this software, go to uh, uh, Google and put in Photo Stories 3, and then the first uh, link that comes up in the search will take you to Microsoft where you can download this software for free. Okay, and so when you install the software and you're ready to go, get all the pictures that you want to put into the presentation from the web, from your own camera, pictures you have on your computer, uh, graphic images that you make, and uh, or put them all in one folder. Click uh, the Import Pictures uh, button and grab those uh, uh, images that you want to have in the uh, in the um, presentation, yeah, I just grabbed a few. Uh, click OK, and you see that they create a storyboard down here at the bottom. All right, here's the thumbnails, and um, so that's where you begin by importing and arranging your pictures. You have these options here of uh, rotating the pictures, and if you click on the edit button, you can crop the pictures as well. Okay, so that's part one. Click the next button at the bottom and you go to part two adding titles uh, pretty self-explanatory you have a text box here where you can um, uh, put in any title you want for these pictures you can arrange them where you want to on the pictures by using these options here and you can uh, pick uh, color and uh, and size etc uh, through this uh, font dialog box and uh, so put the uh, titles you want you also have these artistic effects at this uh, stage where you can put in colored pencil effect or you can put in uh, watercolor effect, something like that. That's really nice. Okay, so you uh, put the titles on and if you want to put artistic uh, filter effect on these pictures, you can do that at, the, at this stage, which is part two. Now let's move on to part three. I'm going to click the next button at the bottom and notice up here it says narrate your pictures and customize the motion. Okay, so each one of these pictures right now at default have a duration of five seconds but when you make a voiceover recording on each picture then the duration is as long as your recording is okay now you have a preview button and when you click that um, you'll see the uh, default motion of each slide where it's either zooming in or zooming out or going up or down etc and so you can customize that motion I'll close this window and you click on the um, picture that you want to customize the motion. Click on Customize Motion here, uh, hit the Option button, and then just customize how you want the slide to start or end. For example, I can start it here and I can end it down there and uh, hit Preview and you'll see that uh, now the picture is moving according to how I just specified on this page. Okay, so you can save that hit close and you can do that for each picture now when you want to record you can put notes here if you need to like that only you see those notes but here's the record button and uh, when you press that you have a dialog box that comes up I find out it doesn't work uh, just click no and then the uh, recording begins and say whatever you want for for the uh, image and then hit the stop button if you weren't happy with the recording, then click this delete button. Now, so that recording was put on the second slide here. When I click off that slide, you'll see that the duration of that recording, and the duration of that slide is indicated for you in the window. So you go on to the next uh, picture and then make a recording for that picture as well. And when you've made uh, your voice narration recordings on each of the pictures, then you go to step four. So click on the next button at the bottom. And here you can add music if you want. You may want not to add loud music if you want people to hear your voiceover. So you may want to keep your music, your background music low or not even add music. But if you do add music, 
the music starts by uh, on which slide you select when you add the music. So I'm going to hit the select music button, select Beethoven. Okay, now I have Beethoven's now I have Beethoven's Ninth Symphony over these last two slides. I'm going to delete that. If I want different music, um, Photo Story 3 will create music for you. Just uh, you can play with all these different genres. Pick something you want. Piano, um, adventurous. Hit the uh, play button, which is like a preview button. If you like that, hit OK. And now you've got Amadeus on those two slides. I'm going to delete that though. Okay, so you can put music background if you feel you need it, but keep it low if you have a uh, voiceover that you want people to hear your voice. Okay, click the next button, go to the last stage of preparing a, a video, and that is, uh, it says save your story, but what it really means is export this slide presentation into a video, streaming video file, and um, all these icons here simply designate the dimensional size of the video itself. For example, this top icon of the computer uh, indicates a 640 pixels wide by 480 pixels tall. So 640 by 480 uh, dimensions to this video if I pick this icon. And so you can pick these other, other dimensions as well if you want. And um, then all you have to do is indicate uh, to Photo Story where you want this uh, to be um, um, saved, which folder, and um, give it a file name. Click Save. All right, so now you're ready to export the slideshow into a video file. I'm going to hit Next, and it uh, will do so. It just takes a little while to uh, convert it into a video. It's going to convert it into a Windows Media video file format. And there, we're done. Now if I click here on View Your Story, that means the Windows Media Player will um, open up and play the video back for you. Or you can go to the folder that you specified for it to be saved in and click on that file and watch the video that way. And then it's ready to go up to uh, YouTube or whatever you want to put it on the web. Also you have a Save Project um, uh, button. Uh, you can save this uh, video slide project giving it a specific name and um, and notice it's saved as a WP3 file that's the project file for your photo story projects click Save and you're done and that is uh, a very quick tutorial on how to use photo story 3